Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly with 25 and 52. I have new hair. It is super exciting. Um, part of my head is shaved, and I don't know how well this will show up, but like it goes sort of at an angle across the back. And I am so happy about it, and I can't stop touching my head. <laughs> I imagine that'll keep go keep going on for the next couple days. And I already had a somewhat nervous habit of going like this, and that's uh, part uh, part of the part that's shaved. And so I imagine I'll basically be like this, that for the next while. Anyway, <laughs> um, so that's cool. That's my awesome news for the moment. I. Still haven't heard from North Carolina, but I imagine they will get back to me by Tuesday, and if they don't, I am making some irritated phone calls. So I read a thing that made me angry uh, this afternoon, uh, because apparently um, there's a new law in Idaho that criminalizes uh, secretly uh, recording video and taking photos in slaughterhouses, and I... There are so many reasons that that's a bad idea. It's the, it's it's a ag gag law, you know, um, and they're in four states now. Uh, they're in Utah, Iowa, Idaho, and Missouri. And thankfully, like you know, companies keep bringing these up in other states as well. And the vast majority of the time, they are shut down because it's extremely clear how quickly unethical stuff can happen when you have this kind of thing, when basically, you know, it's means that it's illegal for, like, if, if an employee sees, you know, has something, sees some animal rights abuses, they're not able to record it. Like, that's before you even get into the idea of, you know, journalists, people like that, intentionally seeking employment at a factory farm, um, or CAFO, or whatever you want to call them, for the purposes of documenting these. Um, apparently in 2012, there was a, uh, a journalist who worked undercover in a uh, dairy farm uh, in Idaho, this uh, lovely state that now has one of these laws, and uh, found that workers there were uh, like caning and sexually abusing the cows, and that's just, oh my god, no. And so that'd be, you know, illegal now for him to intentionally get that job to release that kind of information. So that would still be going on in a great. Anyway, what I meant to say was it's just such a clear example of company, you know, clearly companies are in to make money. Money makes laws. I have a lot of feelings about this and none of them are good. I just want to punch people, honestly. I also just found out that uh, Russia is quite possibly sending military forces into Ukraine to try to stabilize the situation. So that'll um, that'll be a a thing. Okay, so I think that's all. I hope you are having a lovely time in the semi wilderness, wherever you are, doing your thing. I love you, and I will see you later. Bye.